Hi everybody, hope that you are having a wonderful day. Uh, today I want to talk about um, something most of us never want to think about, but should plan for, and that's end of life planning. A couple of steps that you can take today to make sure that your loved ones are in, a, uh, in the easy position to uh, receive the assets that you've worked so hard your entire life to accumulate. First, Make sure that your benefit, beneficiary designations are set up properly. Whether that means having you know, your children as equal beneficiaries, whether that means having your, um, you know, your spouse or whatever it may be, whoever you want to receive your assets, if it's in an account that is either a, an IRA if you own annuities or if you own uh, life insurance or whatever it may be, make sure that it's set up the right way so that it goes directly to whom you want it to. And then also that it's set up uh, what we most people like to have it per stirpe so that let's say if you have a two children and, and God forbid one child passes away before the other then the great they and they had children the grandchildren would receive the benefits uh, an equal share versus you know instead of it all going to the other child so just making sure that several things are done properly another have your documents in a central location or at least have a one page sheet that shows you where um, you know, where your loved ones where all the documents are so that it's easily found um, it makes things just a lot easier you know unfortunately we've had to deal with these situations with clients uh, with family members of clients and it, it, it really is things that you don't want to think about, but if you take care of today, you'll, you'll make it so much easier on your loved ones uh, you know, in, the event, in the event of your passing. Uh, another thing, there's a great article attached in this week's weekly report that I think it's important to read. It's by Chuck Jaffe. We've interviewed him on the radio show, The Money Gurus, um, several different times. And this article is about what the average investor expects or what they want and then what they're willing to risk to get that. And the reality is most individuals are buying their investments based on hunches, based on gut feeling, based on what they see. And it's like it, it, he used a great analogy in the article. You know, that is not really financial planning. It's like a plumber, a physician, a uh, whatever special services you may need. If you don't know what you're doing, then you are going to be cost yourself a lot more money in the long run than if you just went out and hired the, in our case, the financial planner, the plumber, the, the doctor, whatever it may be, to take care of it on the front end. So I love that analogy. Make sure you read that article. I promise you it's, an, it's important to read and realize you're probably, it, it can be yourself. It's very easy to say, oh, well, that's not me, it's everybody else. But uh, if you have questions for us, call us, 770-984-2312. Check out last week's radio show, um, The Money Gurus. Look us up online, bearwealth.com. That's uh, www.baerwealth.com. Have a great week and look forward to meeting you.